as we are going through my cameras making me look like I'm a confidential informant for like the FBI there we go as you're going through this is how to use this assignment this document it will not be looked at by me unless you specifically ask however the benefit for this is it will allow you to organize your thoughts and to categorize them so when it comes time for you to take the essay you may be able just to copy and paste everything that you already have done here. It takes the pressure out because you're going to look at it now, you're going to write out your sentences now, taking some extra time to do so, and then on the day of the exam, it's already set for you. Not everybody will work on this, but it's highly recommend that you do. Our exam question is right here. That's no big surprise for us. We've been looking at it for a few days now. Our exam question says to explain how land and climate of Minnesota have changed over time and how the people living here lived and became more modern over time. Yeah, we, we know that. It's going to be right here. That's our essay question. I'm going to read through our directions. Use the organizer to start preparing your thoughts and evidence for the Unit 2 exam. You may use this space to create your evidence as well as to think about your thesis. As you're going through, this will allow for you to have a well-crafted argument to support your claim. A thesis is just a position on something. If I believe that vanilla ice cream is the greatest ice cream in all the world, that's my thesis. My thesis would be vanilla ice cream is the greatest ice cream. We're going to be using the word thesis throughout your time from now until you graduate. Uh, here at St. Peter, anywhere that you go, you're going to be using it. If you continue along in education, you'll be using it in your college career as well. Use complete sentences below. The more you work you do on the front end, the easier the essay will actually become. So we have three spots here, one, two, and three. And on these spots, you're going to be able to notice that we are going to put down some changes that we observe through the land use. So here you'll see it says land use. And as we're going through on that, we would like to make sure that we're aware about what changes with our land use. The way that we're going to find this will probably be upon your time sweep document. Your time sweep document is the one that we worked on in class with the four quadrants. I would put down something about what changed here. So I could say, in the years 10,000 to 8,000, and then I need to put down my notations, right? Which would be BCE. And then I can talk about something that changed on the land. The land changed from, and then I'm going to put down however it changed, to by the year. The way to fill in the sentence, I'd say, in the years 10,000 to 8,000 BCE, the land changed from to by. So maybe I'm going to say, and this is going to be completely incorrect, maybe I'm going to say the land changed from soil to water by the year 7000 BCE. So if you find something from that document that changed, put down what it was, what it became, and then what year did it become that. You'll do that three times. Scrolling down, you'll notice how people became more modern over time. In order to complete this, I'll put down three things that happened that people did to become more modern over time. So then I could say, by the years, and then I'm going to put down something from my time sweep, people were doing, which was, which was different from the years. So what I can't say here was hunting, right? Because we already know hunting wasn't all of them. So I can't be like, by the years... 1300 BCE, people were doing hunting, which is different from the years 800. Well, no, they were hunting in all of that time period, so we're not able to do that, but humans did do some things in one quadrant that they didn't do in the other, and that's how you answer those three. You'll notice that in sixth grade, we write six sentences per paragraph. Your essay is only one paragraph. Right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Your essay is completely done. You would copy and paste. That's how to do the test prep organizer.